Hi there, I'm Ellie from Smart Apps for Kids and we have got the latest Toka Boka app here to look at, Toka Lab. Let's press the play button and go and experiment because really that's what this app is all about. Now here is an interesting little squishy fellow. I can throw him around and as I'm throwing him around you will discover some shelves and on the shelves are some different scientific experiment equipment. Down here we have got a cooling agent which looks suspiciously like um, liquid nitrogen. And up here we have a test tube set up. Up here we have a, a box of extraneous goodies that um, other <laughs> scientific things fall out of. Over here is a Bunsen burner and this thing here is a centrifuge to spin him round and round and round and round and make him all squishy and soft. And this is an oscilloscope which makes him magnetic. So, well, let's do some things to this interesting little squishy thing. Let's make him cold first. Now we pull down the tube and look, look, there's ice occurring. Oh, and he's turned into an ice cube and I'm trying to pull him up now and he's frozen in place and he's heavy. I like that. I like the fact that this is realistic. Well, you know, as realistic as a game goes, but he's now frozen, so he is much, much heavier. Now, let, if we keep tapping, he'll come unfrozen. So we've already frozen him, and nothing happened except he got frozen. So, let's take this little squishy fellow up to the test tube lab. And here you have three colours to choose from. Two of these combined will cause an explosion. Each time... You just have to take random chance to see which two it was. It's not those ones, so I press the little lever next to the tube there and we'll try another combination. Blue and purple. There we go. This is it. There we go. And he's exploded into lots of little pieces. Boing, boing, boing. Boing, boing, boing. Well, that didn't make anything different happen. Oh, we've combined them together again. Ish. Where's his other piece? Here he is. Come on, you come over and join your other little friends. There we go. You still seem to be missing a bit. There we are. Pop. Excellent. Right, let's heat you up. Okay, slide the lever. Boil, 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 boil. He's gone green and he's changed. He has changed into a gas. We have discovered a new element because that is what Toka Lab is all about. This here is the periodic table of elements and I have already discovered a few little fellows here but with this white one we what did we do? We heated him up and he turned into a gas. Now this little gas if we freeze him he will turn into something else. Let's go and see what happens if we freeze this interesting little gas. Okay, we're freezing, freezing, freezing. Oh, he's changed already. Oh, nope, it's gone back into a gas because we didn't make him cold enough, obviously. Or is that a different gas? That's a different gas. He's not green. That's a white gas. Oh, not prr, but krr. K-R. That's very, very cute. Now, down here shows us, well, it doesn't actually give away what we can do to this one to turn him into something different. So, I'm going to tap one of the others. We've already found, well, actually, when we did, when we did call, call, if only I knew what the, uh, the elements were, I'd uh, be able to tell you what they are, but I don't. So let's freeze him, and here's what he turned into before. No, 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 don't turn into something else before we discover what you are. Love, love, love. Who are you? You're brrrr. Now if we take him over and put him through the oscilloscope and make him magnetic, he's going to turn into something else. So let's show you. The oscilloscope. 
Okay, slide the slider. Oh, he's turned into something else. Oh no, he turned back. Oh, we were too... Oh, now things are sticking to him. Let's go and do it again. Okay. There he is. Oh, oh no, he's gone back again. There we go. Let's stop him before. Save. Ooh. Say. Say. <laughs> I love that. That's very cute. Do you know, each of these I had a look and... Uh, when I was having investigating what the elements actually are, the little wiggly ones here are gases. The squishy ones are liquid or a soft form. And these ones that look like a block, I thought they might be the crystalline elements, but some of the crystalline elements are softer too. So that's not how it works. These ones are actually the very hard elements. So hard, squishy and gas. I love this. This is a great way to learn the, the periodic table of elements. I think it'd be useful even in a high school setting to introduce it to students. Okay, let's go back before I keep rambling about how much I enjoyed this. And I'll show you the centrifuge. Now he's popped in a little container here. He's stuck in. And if we spin, 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 spin. If he's going to change into something, confetti comes out. There we go. And yep, look, he's something different. This little white squishy thing. Let's go and see what, what that is. Tay. 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 Now I was very, oh, there he is, Tay. Tay. Now I'll be very excited when I discover gold or silver or something that I actually know the periodic element for. But uh, these ones are all a bit of a mystery to me. Oh, except for O. O is for oxygen. So I know that one. Let's go back to oxygen Ooh. and let's... Uh, Let's put him through the oscilloscope and see what happens. Of course, if you magnetize oxygen in real life, it doesn't turn into a different element. Oh, look, it's turned into a different gas. There he is. Who are you right next to oxygen on the periodic element table? I don't know who you are. Okay. Now down here in the periodic element table are all of the radioactive ones and I discovered that they have a little glow around them when you find them too. I've discovered them all on my iPhone, not here on the iPad that I'm doing the video on. So they were really fun to find. So you can have an awful lot of fun here going through and discovering each different element on the periodic table. I had a great, find, a great time finding each of them and each time I looked them up on the internet I found out a little bit more about them. Now I only did biology as a senior school science, but if chemistry had Toka apps to help me, I could have totally aced it. Well, maybe not. We'll never know. Now let's go back to the home page and have a look in the for parents section. Now, I'm totally going to lie here so that you don't know what my birth date is because I'm awfully, awfully old. And here we have some extra content. Download the periodic table and you can learn as you go. That's all of them. Like I said, down here are the radioactive ones. And they've got a little glow. I've got maybe most of these and I'm still playing and playing and playing and having a wondrous time. My daughter thinks I'm crazy. And here's an, an interesting letter from the play designer. I found this as an adult to be the most interesting Toka Boka app just simply because it does, it gives you a potential first contact with a pure scientific context that all little scientists and future, future professors might have and remember as years go by. And that learning through play is just the most valuable way to learn. So I've learned a bit about elements while I've been doing this and I think I will continue learning about elements while I continue finding all of the ones on the periodic table. It's great fun. Kids can either play around and just play with these five different ways to change to change each element's form or they can pull down the little string at the top and check out which elements they've got and use the hints to find the ones that they haven't got yet. So I can take this one over and put him through put him through the oscilloscope and he'll change into something else. So you can work either with a purpose or just for fun. I hope you love Toka Labs too. I am having a wonderful time with it. 
really, I do need to get out more, but it is a lot of fun. Now don't go without clicking on our Smart Apps for Kids links for great reviews, free apps every single day and the best giveaways.